going? It's going okay. Um, you know, I farted in front of my boyfriend today earlier, so happens. It's not okay. I feel like I'm I'm hitting like a new low. Here. I mean. That's that's what we're all doing right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I feel like I have lasted a pretty long time. Like I was getting away with accidental, like during my sleep, you know. Didn't mean yeah. it. I was unconscious, you know. But today marks the first um, sort of blatant, unexcusable. I don't know. I don't know. Just not caring. It's kind of going to be a defining it, it, moment. It took two two months in quarantine to get there. Yeah, yeah. You look sort of grizzled and and uh, you look like a woodsman. Yeah, I haven't I haven't shaved or anything in two months. So Chris Clark, he's connecting his audio. Oh, wow. coming in, coming in, unmuting everybody. Okay, then we got Larry yeah. Bea. Chris, can you hear me, C Six? Yes, I can hear you. Wow, I haven't seen you in for fucking ever. I know. I see you on my Twitter. I'll be, I'll be laughing at your, 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 your tweets. Oh, good. Yeah, I have you a have lot of people saying to me. me like, oh, good, good. I have a lot of people lately saying to me, like, oh, I see you posting a lot of conspiracy theory stuff. I guess that's what I'm doing for. Oh my God, yeah, Albert. And we got. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. Yo, can you hear me? Yes. I'm unmuting everyone. Everyone has been unmuted. This is What's like a- Zoom bloopers here. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? Chloe, can what you hear us? Right? What? I ain't seen it, man. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, man, man, you know. We going More, in. To, we going in tonight. Yeah, I'm home on furlough, yo. I'm home on furlough, yo. <laughs> Let's groove tonight. <laughs> Chrissy Mayer, what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Today I partied in front of my boyfriend for the first time. And wow. And and, and, it, it and, re- it and relationships go downhill right after that. Right after that level of comfort, it was go, not it okay. Go. I was just telling a very overgrown James Crowley about it. Um, previously, I've been able to get away with accidental during sleep, blame it on REM, whatever. Um, today marks the beginning of what I think is a new era. Perhaps the down, I've taken a downturn. That is the new era when when a girl farts in front of her boyfriend and does it on purpose, and it's not like. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want because, to keep my level up here. I want to stay classy, lady. That's 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 what's the. That's when we go classy. Look, <laughs> that's yeah, when Chrissy, we go I look. think I think you have to move out. Yeah, yeah. I, that's, 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 <laughs> my name's on the lease here, so it's like I don't know. First time, uh, I don't know. I had to throw on a top with buttons just so I could feel classy again. We have to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can't tell hey, anybody. I shouldn't have said anything. I mean, hey, how I mean, how, how can we well, see everybody? No, what? no, oh, no, I'm good. Stay here, whatever you need. Larry, happy birthday. Thank you, happy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Larry. Happy thank birthday, Larry. I appreciate you. Oh, what it is, what it is, thank you. While we're waiting for, for a couple more people. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this game is called Never Have I Ever? Yeah, we're waiting for a couple more people, but fuck them. You know, we're going to start on time. I'm going to make sure everybody knows each other. In in Zooms previously, I pointed to where I think people are, and then I watched the Zoom, and I see that they are nowhere near where I'm pointing, so I will not be pointing. Okay. I'm like a fucking idiot pointing to Oh, this is this is James. <laughs> <laughs> like wave when, when it's your turn. Um, we got James Crowley. He's a writer for Newsweek and a stand-up comic. I know him. I love him. This is the most beard I've seen you in uh, ever. This you look like it's, you. It's stand for another month. <laughs> it, it, oh, just another month. <laughs> yeah, I figure I, my birthday's in June. That's when it's all going. You look like you're about to stick your dick in an elk. <laughs> I, I, oh, I am. <laughs> All right, I'm starved for human contact. Woo, let's get loud. We got Larry Bear. He's a <laughs> let's get loud. Podcast. 
Oh, we up in here. We loud. And Great. stand up comic. Glad to yeah. you, Larry. You keep moving around. It's what I expected. Yeah. Stick and move. Where are you? I, the community, I have no idea where you are. I said, Eddie, I'm in Greenwich, Connecticut. Oh, right. You're still in Connecticut. Are you still in Oh, you in C? Yo, you live in, you live in CT? Yeah. Where? Yeah. I'm in Greenwich. Come on. I'm, I'm from Bridgeport. Bridgeport. Oh, what, what are we talking about Bridgeport? What do you know about Bridgeport? Is that Who the me? hood? No, I'm talking to my boy from Connecticut. Is that the hood? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that's... That. <laughs> Wait, Larry, that's, are you staying with Stancil and Mead? Yes. No, no. Actually, actually, I, the, the, the trick is this. I live next door, but we all act, we all party next door at Matt's house. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does Matt have, like, a sauna and you all meet up every day? Yeah, yeah, we just, every day we meet up for different chores and tasks and everything like that, but I'm actually, like, next door. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm glad you have your little quarantine friends. Oh, all my right, God. Favorite all time hot messes. Um, she's she's done funny. She's she's a bartender. She does everything. Her hair is brunette and blonde. She she she's unpredictable. It's Alex Engelbert, everybody. <laughs> you guys, I burned my hand today. <laughs> what happened here? We had to put on a Can you hear me? Yeah, I. I burned my hand today because it was the stupidest thing. Um, I was grabbing something out of the oven and you would think I would be better at this by now. But like, just like, I like moved the cloth that I went to grab it with and it just slid and I literally went to pick something up. So like, I've got a burn on my forefinger and on my thumb. This happened like two hours ago. So it hurts like a bitch. So I just like gauze wrapped it and was like, I don't know, apply pressure, hope for the best. <laughs> that looks messy. I can understand one finger getting hurt, but when you've got two fingers wrapped up, that to me is looks skeptical. It's so, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't throw my gang signs, nothing. It's shit. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Then we got uh, my new friend. She's a porn star. It's my first time meeting her. I'm so excited to meet her. We got Chloe and Laura. To me, it looks like she's in this corner, but I'm probably wrong. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey everybody. Where are you coming to us from right now? Um, right now I'm in Las Vegas. Ooh, Vegas. Yes, a lot of my um porn star girlfriends live in Vegas, like Jaden Cole, Kiara Edwards, Emma Hicks just moved to Vegas. Um, it's a happening. There was That's crazy. I, yeah. I just moved I, I just moved here in December. To Vegas? Wait, you're in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in Vegas. I'm not in Vegas now, but I can't. I yeah. left after the, after that shit shut down. I'm not staying in that shit. It's a ghost town. So, yeah, yeah. I I'm live in Atlantic, but I'm in Vegas right now. I, I can't. Would you say that again? I can't. Believe I live in LA, but I'm in Vegas right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me see your shirt. Thinking about moving here. To Vegas, yeah. I think it's a good you know, you know, <laughs> thing. Girls are moving to Vegas. Um, I feel like it's a happening place, and hopefully, when things come back, it, like it was a place where there was like a lot of work. Um, I I can't believe things have been shut down as long as they have been. But we're not here to talk about that. Um, wait a couple minutes. We're supposed to have Anthony Kumia coming on because I sent him the login info. But you know what? We're gonna keep. You said who? You said who's supposed to come on? Anthony Cumia, my friend. Oh, Anthony. what? That's he's, what's up. He used to be on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I'm kidding. Yeah, I think the guys, the, the, the dudes that I um I be torn with, they uh they've been on their show, his show a couple of times. The twins. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn yeah, sometime when you can. Hodge, I don't know. Never heard of him. He had, a, he had a Haas twins. Uh, Larry, who do you keep pointing your camera at? What's going on there? <laughs> no, I, w I, was, I was doing something, so I wanted somebody else to hold the camera while I had to go do something. This is a professional Zoom hangout, Larry. <laughs> With the utmost respect. I had to go do something. I had to go do something. All right, I'm so back. You can go do something when we're done, OK? I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Whatever. Uh, you guys have all played before, I hope, I think. Yeah. You know, I, you were teenagers. I never played it. I was Googling the rules. Oh, really? Yeah. What did the, oh, this is street rules. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure that, that the way I play it is the way that people play it, that we say, oh, never have I ever. And if you've done the thing, you take a drink. Do we all have our drinks? I may have invited a couple oh, of let me, let me go grab. One second. Let me grab my drink. Oh, we got we to gotta make drinks, Mikey. Um, it, this yeah. is seltzer, and it's non-alcoholic. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you're an alcoholic, <laughs> I support you. It's OK. I'm not here to make anybody relapse. You know, we're just. <laughs> Here for a low key good time. Okay. Um, but if you've done the thing, drink. Um, and if you have an interesting story around the, your answer, like whether it's yes or no, please share it, and then we will find a new person to question. That sounds good, right? Ooh, sea snacks. What do you got there? You got a fancy bottle. Yeah. This. It's some sangria, a spiked sangria. Wow, what are you, a white girl at brunch? That's a very good thing. Susan! Is that the white claw of sangria? You can it out a can? I've never seen that. Yeah. Wow, all right. White claw. Oh, you got white I got some yeah, white it's, claw. It's, 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 uh, I got a little bit of this in it, too. Oh, wow. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vodka lemonade. I'm like a construction worker after a hard day. <laughs> I don't know how I'm into them lately. All right, we got Chloe LeBranch. We got, oh my God, there's going to be two Chloes in here, Chloe. You're Chloe number one since you got here first. Um, and then we got Chloe LeBranch. I don't know where you love her. She's a stand up comic. She's also the host of News for Women, which is a weekly news breakdown, uh, news for we can understand it. Now it's gonna premiere May 17th. Chloe, welcome to the show, girl. Can you hear us? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, good. All right, we got Chloe the brand, Chloe Amore. We got two Chloe's and you're next to each other. So let's, I hope that doesn't really derail the show. Chloe the branch, have you played Never Have I Ever? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, good. Chrissy, you look beautiful. Oh my God, thank you. I have a ring light and I'm wearing a cardigan because I haven't worn anything with buttons in two months. So I'm really trying to step it up. Yeah, zippers are out. Also, I farted in front of my boyfriend today. So. <laughs> Is that the first time? Uh, like, for the first time in an obvious, blatant manner. You know, like, I think I farted in front of Colin Zimer today. <laughs> Who's that? You know, my camera guy for weeks? Yeah, well, no, I don't know him personally, but. You know who he is. Yeah. He, he was in the living room and I was in the bathroom and he's going, and then I was like, <laughs> do I address this? Oh, 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 oh. oh. You may have seen him. He was a regular on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey. <laughs> it was a popular show a few years back. He's pretty funny. Happy to have you. Have you ever played Never Have I Ever before? Uh, yeah, but like when I was a kid, way back when, in, in a log cabin. Good. Well, then <laughs> grab your maple syrup or whatever it is you're going to drink. We're going to, um, you know, if you've done the thing, you're going to take a drink. And, uh, yeah, if you've got a fun story, go ahead and uh, share it. I'm going to kick it off. Never Have I Ever Hitchhiked. Wow, look at all of us. Not a chunky. So wait, wait. So wait. So wait. How we do a, do we go? do we do a line? No. Well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, you do off camera, Chloe. You know, this is Zoom. This is quarantine. There's no rules here. Do whatever you need to do. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I ever I can't. I don't even I've know. hitchhiked. Of course. I think I've I did. Hitchhiked. I know I've hitchhiked. I've, yeah, I've Never. Did. Yeah. Never hitchhiked. It was one of the scariest things I could do from how my parents like told me <laughs> it would always be a serial killer or some kind of a rapist or, or something, <laughs> which I then started doing when I picked up hitchhikers. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic little twist. All right, that was a terrible question. Here we go. Have I have ever been arrested? Oh, <laughs> oh well, well, damn. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, do I do I drink? Yes. Did you do do I it? drink the um, for the amount of times I've been arrested? Sure, sure. Chloe Lebranch, how many times have you been arrested? One. Oh. Two. No. <laughs> Three. No way. For what? A 
Oh God. Uh, I got arrested. I oh, all for uh, drinking underage. Gee, then you still look underage. So that must nice. be difficult. Thank you, Botox. I got arrested Thank for you, buying Botox. underage girls liquor. Really? Oh, really? Again. Hey, again. To hey! Again. I, I used to call you Tony. I used to call you Tony back in. The <laughs> <laughs> so I recognize you. So everybody got to say how they got arrested. Yeah, how'd you get arrested? For me, shit. Oh, how, how, how many times? How many times you got to do drink for it? Yeah. Me? Oh, I got to have drink for every time. Yeah. Well, do it. I did back. it. Do it. Ready? Go. Sit One. Back. One. You gonna do it yet? Oh, he said one. Oh, okay. One. Drink, drink, drink one. Two. And then do you drink it the next time? Two. Ooh. Oh, another one. Three. Oh, three. Oh, another one. Is that it? Three. Wow. Three. Three. Uh, three. That I remember. What'd you get arrested um, for? <laughs> uh I got arrested a long time ago. I used to I used to, I used to still like I was a big like card collector. I used to collect football and basketball cards way back. This is and and stealing from Bradley's. From who? <laughs> stealing from Bradley. I don't know if y'all remember Bradley's. Oh Bradley's. yeah. Oh yeah. I got uh, arrested. Yeah, Tony. That's when you were selling girls those little mixed. Right. Used to find Bradley's. Bradley's. <laughs> Bradley's was like a cheap department store, right? Like oh, it was models and. Things like that. Yeah, it day. was like it was like Town Fear. I don't know if you guys remember that. So, yeah, yeah, Town Fair. No, no, oh, yeah. I think you said Town Theater. Huh? <laughs> they said Town Theater. I was like, okay. Nah, Town <laughs> Fair. Community Theater. I got arrested one time when I got arrested. Uh, they put me in the back of the cop car. I was at college and. I was so drunk because I had taken a bunch of Xanax. And when you drink, Z when you take Xanax and drink, you just become a nightmare. And uh, they put me in the back of the cop car and I started like hysterically crying. And when they were handcuffing me at like the football stadium at this like stupid college I went to, I started screaming, Indian burn! He's giving me an Indian burn! Indian <laughs> They're like, burn. <laughs> and I go back in the cop car. And once, once they actually got me in the cop car, I'm hysterically crying and I'm screaming, he fingered me. Damn, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> and uh, I think I, think I saw you on I think I saw you on every episode of Live PD. <laughs> and and uh, the cop was like hysterically laughing. I'm like, oh, you think it's funny to finger me? And uh, then uh, uh, in front of the school, I had to go to like, the college like jurisdiction and they the police read my transcript with me sitting there out loud oh, to my boy. dad wow. Oh, wow. 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 That's embarrassing. And, goes, and then chloe says he fingered me he <laughs> fingered me <laughs> and he was like indian burn i'm like pretty good case right dad like right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, i think when i was when i was 16 I think after I graduated from a uh, shit, yeah, the eighth grade, uh, a Damn. friend of mine, a friend of mine pulled up. I was walking home with my book bag, and a friend of mine pulled. He was like two years older than me. Pulled up in a, a formula. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, and come to find out, so he stole a car. <laughs> he pulls up, and I was like, "Yo, what the hell are you doing? This shit is dope." He's like, "It's my uncle." Just oh, pulled. I said, "Your uncle is dead." Hop in. I was like, all right. <laughs> hop, yo, hop, hop in the car. We driving. And he just keep fixing the car and fixing the, the, the mirror. And I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm in the back. There's somebody else in the, in, the, in the passenger seat. I'm in the back. Formula is kind of like a, a Trans Am or something like that. Right. Yeah. It looks like a, 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 is it a Camaro or something like that. Anyways, so we yeah. driving. He was like, yo, Gender. this car is so so he's driving, doing like 50 on the streets. I'm like, yo, bro, slow down, man. He's like, yo, this is stolen. I said, oh. <laughs> so um, we're driving, we're driving, we we just, just cut, cutting through streets. I was like, yo, man, just let me out here. He's like, he's not here. Come to find out, the, the car he stole, it was a police officer's car. 
Hilarious. Oh, <laughs> no. Holy oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Say- wait a minute. I think I saw you, too, on every episode of Live Feed. <laughs> <laughs> were you the one who gave you the one who – did you give your yeah. friend the drink, too? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what, yeah, Tony, you have like a lemonade like, stand, and you're like, "Hey, if you're underage, I'll make all your." <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. Oh my like, God. Are you afraid of the dark? But for like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. You would be perfect for like, <laughs> for like Dateline. You know, like to catch a predator. Like, I feel like you would do a great job acting like you're underage to like look at pedophiles. I feel like you'd be so good at that. Who would you the guy with the beard? Cool, no, you would be really good. I feel like I feel like James. If we just shave that off, you could look like a. Oh yeah, I've got a baby face, okay. like a chubby twelve-year-old. Dude, you for sure look like you could definitely catch a predator with that baby face. Yeah, but are, ch- are chubby twelve-year-olds fuckable? <laughs> they do a lot more. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit! Is there a market for chubby? You just treat it like a fucking nerd's bro. <laughs> he, he said they do a lot more. <laughs> they do a lot more. <laughs> I feel like a total straight edge. I've never been arrested. I was pulled over once, but I got out of it. But I also now haven't like haven't owned a car since the early aughts, so I'm not really like driving around. Wow, right. what a good girl. Wow! Just Good. didn't do any, uh, didn't I get arrested ne- or anything. I would have never yeah. thought that, Chrissy. All right, Chloe, one. It's your turn to do a never have I ever. Oh, do I ask a uh, question? No, you're Chloe number two, Chloe two. Branch. You got here late. All right. We got Chloe and more. She's Chloe number one. Um, I've been arrested once, and it was for a DUI, but it's not. Not very interesting because fuck yeah. I know a lot of people have gotten to do What? Do you want to ask a question like a never have I ever thing? Yeah. Okay. Go. Yo, Alex, why are you cracking up? <laughs> it's fucking Chloe LeBrat. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what made me laugh too. That's what made- that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, Chloe, number one. Ask a question. Um, oh, God. Never have I ever. I was thinking I was going to say something that I've done that I know a lot of people haven't done. Uh, sh- That'll be fun. <laughs> oh. someone, someone pick, like, a topic, and then I'll, ask, I'll hey. say if they've done it. <laughs> All right, I got a topic. Zoom comedy show. (laughs) (laughs) Never have I ever done that. (laughs) Me 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 either. So I got a drink? I've done Zoom chat like this, but I haven't done Zoom stand-up yet. Yeah, okay. Because I... So so we got to... So I got a drink because I never did Zoom comedy, right? No, then you don't drink. (laughs) You did. You just want a drink. Go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, oh, oh, shoot, for real? Oh, shoot, me too. (laughs) How are those going? Has anyone done one? Who's done one? Only one I've seen done really well. I saw Aaron Berg do one one night, and it was a bunch of whack comics on their wedding, but he crushed it. Why does their race matter? What? No, he what said whack. Uh, I said whack. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there was a bunch of terrible comics on that. Not, I was like, race? What the? No, black people are usually funny. That's why they don't terrible have Terrible comics are a race. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, there were a bunch of bad comics. You were like a bunch of white comics. No, 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 (laughs) No. I wouldn't say that. (laughs) No, I think typically black comics are funnier. Like, that's why they always bitch about them not being in improv schools, but it's because black people are naturally funny. Like, they don't have to do that shit. Wow. And Asian comics don't go to any schools except for, like, uh, ACT, what is it? 
the school. No, but I'm saying, do you not remember a few years ago when there was like outrage and they're like, we just pulled UCB's numbers and there is one black person who goes here. And I was like, well, yeah, first of all, because it's expensive. And second of all, like they yeah. don't need to like, and, like yes third of all, I was there and I was black out. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're also in the numbers. <laughs> I got Never. kicked out of UCB. I did get kicked out of UCB for drinking out of three. You're hilarious though. And they I didn't. would think that you, would be a prerequisite. They didn't deserve you. Yeah. No, I was, because, I went to UCB. because they say I went they to UCB. say they say, they say, they say yeah, like I went. Oh, Yeah, I went to UCB. I got kicked out a couple of times. And they say like you have to, you know, yes, and. And then we had that, like, break after two hours of listening to, like, everything that someone thought their mom told them they was funny. Dude, yeah. And I would go, and I would take, like, four shots in, like, the ten minutes, and I would come back, and they'd be like, just a yes, and. I would just, like, they'd be like, and then, uh, look who's at the graveyard. It's our funny uncle. And I would just be like, no. Oh. Be like, just a yes, and I go, I am not enabling. Right. <laughs> and they go, no, you're just, you're just, yes, I go, I will not enable this asshole. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the problem, though, with 99% of it, because, like, you're funny, but it is, it's a lot of enabling. Like, a lot of these kids who were yes. told, like, because yes. it's either, like, it's like ugly duckling syndrome, so it's like these ugly yeah. fat fucks and who, like, like left home and they're like, but I'm funny because that's the only thing I have going for me, right? Right, I'm quirky, right? I'm funny. Yeah. And they have and money I, to burn. I agree and I feel yeah. like feeding into this culture of other people pay. telling them like, you're great because you can write a check for $500, right? Right, well, you're paid, okay, yeah. you're hilarious. Well, okay, wow. I, to that's, defend that's them, I, to defend them, I do think that maybe police in Connecticut could take like a UCB class for when I get pulled over and they're like, are you drunk? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, and. <laughs> and then you're like, and on Xanax. Go. That's it. I'm sorry. I'll tell you and now they're totally bankrupt. So that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, because Aaron Glazer, remember him? Does anyone remember him? Wasn't that the point? Nobody was supposed to remember him. Right. Oh well, so Chrissy, you know this one of one of Chrissy, you know this girl. One of my friends was actually like hooking up with him, and then he ghosted her, and then he got accused of rape, and she was like, "Oh my!" And I called her, and I was like, "You got ghosted by a rapist, like, <laughs> <laughs> like you were willingly fucking this guy, and he was calling you, and he started raping you. other people." Like, that Quality. Guy. Here's your question. <laughs> when you when you need somebody in your corner to give you that soft attention, Chloe LeBrant will be there for you. Chloe, what is your Twitter? <laughs> oh, it's at. Oh, I think I changed. I oh, fuck. I did. I changed. It's usually Chloe LeBranch, but I, I actually I changed the name the other day because my mom said, "Can you change your name? Everyone in our family hates you." So I tried to change my name to my first name and my middle name, but. There is a 16-year-old softball fucking star Kill her. with my name and my middle name in South Carolina. You gotta get her. I know. Yo, your whole, so your actually, whole name, your for, first, for Mother's first Day, name. I gave my mom right. fake papers of my name change. Because my mom like asked me to change my name because she said my comedy was embarrassing. Oh, wow. like, oh. <laughs> That's why my mom asked me to change my name. My whole, she's like, my whole, your whole family hates you. That's why you're alone in Brooklyn. Um, and, uh, don't worry, I've got the bottle. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember I worked at, like, a classy at at private school, and, like, one of Chloe's brothers, or your only brother, went there. That's no, I have five brothers. Oh, Holy shit. shit. Yeah, one of your brothers. Oh, at Browning. Went to, <laughs> went to Browning, yeah, where I worked in admissions for, like, three years. Well, you didn't let me in. <laughs> oh, what? Sorry. We had to avoid it. Well, uh, is that how t is that did tony did tony get you the job because he was selling to the kids selling that booze to the kids yes. outside the school like, hey chrissy he's like i got a mole on 60 seconds god damn it god damn it um wait so yeah what were we talking about yeah so my mom asked me to change my name and so I made like fake papers to change my name and I send them to my mom for Mother's Day today and I wrote that I changed my name to Annabelle Frank. Mm. 
totally Dean different. Will, Frank. And Frank. And yeah, I had a friend. Named Annabelle Annabelle Frank. Frank. I used to work with him named Andrew Frank, and we used to call him Anne Frank all the time. Um, yeah, he he didn't like name. that. It's a good name. Yeah. I um, know it. I was just going to at you on Twitter because you're making me laugh, but never oh, mind. We don't know Twitter what your Twitter is. is. At I'm Chloe Spar. I, should, I actually have my old one because I tried to be Chloe Spar, but that girl's fucking killing it on TikTok. She has extremely good softball stats and she's 17. And I couldn't change She's my name. 17. So I'm just going to be Chloe LeBranch forever. Okay. I was just part of a, a viral TikTok. Not on my, not on my watch because I don't have TikTok. Okay, listen. So recently, the youths have been in my DMs on Twitter and like on my, in my mentions. And because I sent a tweet a while ago and I was like, ladies, why worry about this pesky election when you should just be out there finding a husband or something like that? <laughs> and, and I said, hashtag repeal the 19th. <laughs> Which mean? I should know what that is. It's the women's right to vote. Ah. Oh my God. Which like, was I being sarcastic? You can, you can decide. But I have anyway, never, I've never used that. But the youth, it's like my favorite <laughs> hashtag. But the youths that are TikToking were on the Twitter and somehow like someone just got bored as hell and like searched hashtag repeal the 19th. And apparently there's like a TikTok where this girl took like screenshots of all the tweets that said repeal the 19th and like, like rolled it and made something like calling us all idiots or whatever. So I have all of these people right now. I'm like fighting with a 16 year old right now on Twitter, like in my mentions. <laughs> Cause she's like, I can't believe you want to take away women's rights to vote. And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, we fought so hard. And I was like, who the fuck is we? I never asked for this. Like I should have nine kids by now and I do not need to be educated. Yeah. You fought this battle for me. And at first I was kidding, but now I'm just diving in head first. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck all of the youths. Hell yeah. But it seems great until yoga is like at the same time. And you have to one or the other. Oh. Trolling this is great like when it's way over the top like that. I Some of the most fun I ever had on Twitter was uh, when I was saying what a great mom Casey Anthony was. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got so pissed off that she's been through enough losing a child and she should be left alone. It just... People couldn't fathom that anybody felt like that. It's like it's so over the top. When you do things that are so over the top, like repeal the friggin' right for women, they don't see it. They don't know what Twitter's about, that it's a joke. Like, people are so really fucking stupid. Oh, so we're still, we're just, we're, we're going with I was joking. Okay, wait, got it, got it. wait. I, I, don't under, I don't understand Twitter is a joke. <laughs> what? All right. Casey uh, Anthony is a good mom. You know, Twitter, can I tell Twitter is the closest thing I have to a father. I gotta tell you that. <laughs> I, I mean, I just well, I just thought it was funny because, like I said, the TikTok youths are like supposedly it's like a comedy video site. TikTok's for fags. It's not. It's it's for brainless people. It right. went completely over their head. But then some one girl she was going on and she's like. And she's like, I just can't believe you don't want women to have rights and be advanced. She's got corona and, and she's dead. And, that. and then she just tweeted at me and she's like, and you know what? I'm offended and I'm a lesbian. And I just retweeted. I was like, oh, of course you are. <laughs> like, of course you are. <laughs> like, it's a prerequisite to be a lesbian. You have to just be offended. All right. Next. Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. This is a good one. Lied about being in love. Lied about being what? In love. Of course, of course. Oh, oh, uh, to, to your significant other, not to like a friend and go, I love this girl and stuff. Oh, like, I love it. Lied to someone's face and just say, I, I, I love you, right? <laughs> yeah, I think Anthony, have that. you ever? Well, of course. You had a. <laughs> Every guy has at some point. If that yes, was the yes. if that was the the <laughs> magic words to get some pussy, yeah, you would absolutely. <laughs> say, oh, of course, I love you. There's what? a whole song yeah. about it. It's called Paradise by the Dashboard Light. <laughs> so I'll drink. But but Anthony, when you told me that when you oh, sold me those you. lemonades, you said you love me. I know. <laughs> I love your business. When I took the training wheels off. <laughs> when he when he yeah, irons your skirt in the morning. I feel obligated to say it. Like I, for me, that applies like, with the next boyfriend towards the end. Like 
he would say it and I would say it back, but really I didn't love him anymore. Cause it, it was just like, Ugh. but how do you stop saying it? It's either like you break up or you lie about it. Yeah, right. who doesn't see it either? Like saying, someone could say it, but you could be looking and just go, oh, that's such bullshit. Like, yeah, you can see you. your actions aren't yeah. really jiving with your I love you. <laughs> yeah, love you, love you too, love you, love you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it becomes love you. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Chris, art emoji. Yeah. <laughs> you say, you if I love you, please stop you talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It becomes it's actually like, books called that. Yeah, I love you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh oh. We got a comedian here. <laughs> oh, shit. Can I see her? It's drink this lemonade. Not only yeah. does he sell lemonade. One time I had a guy that I was dating say, like, I was very drunk when I said this to him, and I was like, I love you. And he was like, I love parts of you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. You're, you've been like, which? That's it was good. like, great, okay. And I dated him for two years, so. Yeah, which part? Of you? Damn, he, he was on it. Yeah. Well, a no, guy, never a guy recently told me he was, he was on it. A guy told me he was going to Me Too move me. Me Too me. Oh. Me Too you? Yeah, I know. And he, has like, he has like a way more followers, followers than me. He's like, I'm going to Me Too you. And I go, Wow, I'm glad you think that my rape would count. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, I'm so tiny, it wouldn't be rape, it'd be great sex. Uh, <laughs> Wait, was he going to say that you forced it on him? Yeah, he was going to say that. I, he was going to me to me. I'm like, I'm not even famous, but thank you for thinking like anybody. That would not have taken, that wouldn't have took. I know, and... Uh, then I was like, well, you kissed, you kissed me. And he goes, well, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, but you, but you came when we had sex. He's like, because I wanted it to stop, and I was scared. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, no, he didn't Coming is part. a natural he reaction to fear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a good joke, though, right? First time. Yeah. First time. I first wanted time. to stop. Well, I don't know why I should come while scared. Well, yeah. Have you ever? I dated Gino for like three years. I'm sure he was terrified the entire time. <laughs> oh man, you did Gino. He still so is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it works a lot easier though if you're holding a knife. You know, you're like just finish. Like they tend to move quicker. Yeah. I don't give a shit until like, you know, yeah. yeah. It's over. The, the knife might be a problem, but during gives you yeah, who cares about a knife, yeah. a gun, whatever the fuck. I feel like I'd be looking at the knife, I'd be like, oh, this wasn't rocked properly. Like there's, you know, gunk on it. I would get distracted. The knife, oh, the gun. All you gotta say is to dude, if you don't want him, if you want him to come, just say don't come. Don't come. Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna come right over. Pressure's right. on. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I heard come. I heard come. Okay, none of you guys come right now. Don't come for another half hour. <laughs> 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 All right, Larry Bay, your turn. Okay, never have I ever um, had a foursome. <laughs> <laughs> that implies that you have had reason. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a subtle way of bragging, is what you just did. <laughs> I'm just, I, but I thought we we're supposed to like have something we never did. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> no, but I know Anthony could top this one. All, Not a force him. No way. All of those. All that's those. Too much attention that has to yeah. be spread out. Yeah. <laughs> Reasons are bad enough, especially if it's with your significant other that you've had for a while and a yeah. new girl. Because like yeah. you and the new girl, it, it, it's like it looks like a scene from a fucking the most romantic movie you could ever see. And then there's <laughs> then there's this hand drooped out going like this, just <laughs> trying to keep the attention of the significant other. <laughs> yeah, the beach scene from here to eternity is happening. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, little, 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 little. You're, you're still here, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It's the fucking worst. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Yo. <laughs> and then, and then, and then that, that after conversation, like, you gave her more attention. Oh, of course. Of yeah. course. 
<laughs> they will always end in disaster. Yes. Those <laughs> They're never good. Coin <laughs> number one, what was your situation? Uh, I mean, well, you did my whole introduction, so. Who's this scene? scene? <laughs> the scene, yeah. Yeah. Was it for, where can people find this scene? Uh, there's a few of them. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it was all girls, so. That's fun. That counts. counts. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Like girl orgy. Yeah. yeah. Like, were you cast to be in a certain role, or do people sort of just like go where they want to go? Like, if you're more the aggressor, more the submissive, do you sort of naturally fall into that, or did you guys have specific roles? Sometimes it depends, like, how long a girl's been in the industry where they'll want her to be the aggressor. Um, but then I've also played, like, submissive towards girls who are more aggressive. So that's kind of how they do. But they typecast, like, depending on your ethnicity. So I get cast your, out for, your like, industry, yeah. you do secretarial work? <laughs> <laughs> no, you came in late. I do porn. Uh, yeah. It's not a surprise. <laughs> it's not a surprise. It's not a Yo, surprise. No, <laughs> Chloe is stupid. <laughs> a or am I? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Isn't that the highest accolade for like funny? Yes. Yeah, in yeah. black people, that's the that's the phrase. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's more like, like more like black people. Black people our, our, compliments, our compliments could be like it could be kind of. <laughs> if you're not black, you can kind of take it kind of disrespectful, like, what? <laughs> but we say right. stupid, like, yo, you was a fucking asshole. Like, we, we insult you, but it's like, it's a compliment. <laughs> you retarded. <laughs> for saying no, you retarded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I used to work with a couple Dominican chicks, and they'd be like, oh, you're so stupid. And they'd be, like, laughing. And I'm like, why? Why? And they're like, oh, no, 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 you great, mommy. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> Your boyfriends beat you. Like, yeah. oh, you have to go to... You have to go to Google Translate. I get it. They have boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I like it. I like it. All right, Kumi, you're up. Let me see. I, I might be alone on this one. Uh, never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Oh, I haven't got one either. Oh, oh me either. too. No way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I thought, I drink. I, I more drinks. and I got, I, I went through the nineties where, you know, I should have had some tribal thing on my arm or something. Yeah. <laughs> wait, so, so, wait, 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 so nobody, so everybody got a tattoo, so you, no, no tattoo. You don't oh, have one either. either, Chrissy. Wow. I don't have one either. I don't have one either. Damn. I just never uh, had $70. What about Alex? Alex, you have one, right? I have oh, 15, Several. I think. Several. Fifteen tattoos. Where are they? You so gotta have a tramp stamp, right? Oh my god, do you want to say? Yes, please. Is it yeah. all tramp stamps? Oh hey, of go. course. <laughs> oh, this there you go. Yeah. Is that yeah. a mic? Yeah. What, is what is that? Is that Nepertiti? Yeah. It's a um. This is. Oh, it's Green a bow. Catcher. It's this a is bow. A and then yeah, ribbon and a bow, right? Yeah, it's a corset lacing. Oh, oh wow. Uh, isn't that like just putting a tattoo of buttons down your chest? Yeah. <laughs> a bow tie. <laughs> yeah, a bow tie. You just walk out a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no, I've, got, I've got a lot of them. Awesome. Damn, I don't have I, damn. I missed I missed my opportunity a couple of times, man. I, I some it's some sad whack, but it's like I was I had picked one out with this uh tattoo artist is my um a friend of mine, Mad Cool, and um the week that I was supposed to go get it, he died. <laughs> so I never did. <laughs> that would be the omen. Good excuse not to get one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm good. Yo, yo you're, you're like the chosen one. And anybody was, gonna, anybody was going to damage your skin, it, he had to go. <laughs> yo, James, Lord. what's yours? Um, so I, I met the lead singer of my favorite band, and I had him write out two words from a song. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to get that. What? <laughs> 
Great. No, no, no. It was uh, the Wonder Years. So it just says it just says okay. brave enough, and now I feel like such a pussy okay. with it. Those on your hand. <laughs> Wait, your it's, favorite thing was Creed. Yes. Oh, yeah, I know it's it was higher. And, and uh, I got what, with what arms write, wide open across write? my chest. Oh, did he write? Uh, you're, 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 my dick is six feet in <laughs> your mouth, and I'm. Put arms wide open. <laughs> Your butthole wide open. I have that as a trash can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in. Like, it's a picture of a guy like you. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I got, I have Jimmy Eat World lyrics on my rib cage. Um, no. Which ones? All right, well, I have the, uh, I have the uh, OG. Oh, shit. Yeah, like it was a painful place. I have one there too. I have. Well, mine is the emoji ghost because I was getting ghosted at the time. Okay. Hilarious. Oh my god. And then I have, uh, I have this. Ha ha. Ooh. Love it. Love it. I'm both in rehab, and then I have this. <laughs> so if you what don't know what this what is, that this mean? one's a little bit artsy. So uh, <laughs> have you guys heard of uh, Carl Lagerfeld? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so he was the designer for Chanel, who he died. And so he has a famous quote. He has a lot of hilarious quotes. He's a quote that he says, tattoos are disgusting. It's like wearing Emilio Pucci full time. So I got the Emilio Pucci logo tattooed on my arm. Uh, oh. I mean, yeah, that was good. That's something that yeah. has to be explained though, every yeah, time. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then when you're really drunk, they're like, I didn't know you spoke Dutch. <laughs> I just, I've gotten a lot of mine like on like an impulse and I regret uh, That like, joke all, didn't hit, did it? No. All the ones I've gotten when I was younger, like these fucking Jimmy World lyrics, it's from in the middle. Okay, I was on one. I was on like day well, five maybe if you of, got like, the a Jimmy seven day World bender. In your butt, <laughs> and Those I- Those tattoos, yeah, are after a bender. Yeah. yeah. And I was out with my friend. Yeah, Jimmy, my friend you know about to go a get bender with cures. a bunch of little kids drunk driving <laughs> the power wheel. Yeah, he, but my friends wanted to get something. I'd be like, Jim, I'd be like, Tony, you think I can get a yeah. DUI? You're like, no, 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 so, no, no, just yeah. tattoo it. Anthony had a, a lemonade stand and a tattoo parlor. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> tattoo parlor called the Little, he, he little would, Tats. He, he would mark little the tats. kids on the mark the kids on the back of their necks under their hair to see they're even there. <laughs> the brand. See how much allowance yeah. they spend a week. And yeah. like, sorry, sir, we don't have the money. Be like, look me in the back of your neck. No, you only came here once this week. I know you got your allowance today. <laughs> Just brand, brand, yeah. Did you brand them? I never thought of uh, anything that I felt so strongly about that I would want to have it put on me forever. And then someone said, uh, it doesn't matter what you think at the moment. Like, tattoos are supposed to be the whole journey of your life. So even if you don't oh. believe in it anymore, you did at some point in your life, so it, it's relevant. But uh, oh. I don't know. Everything always seemed to be, oh, you're Taurus, get a bull. Or, oh, yeah. how about the lizard on your arm? Or they're all these, oh, it's Yosemite Sam. Like, I didn't want any of that shit. Okay. Yeah. Tony, let me ask you a question. Yes. Uh, looking, looking back on all these years, all these times you couldn't gotten, you could have gotten those tats. What would have been the meaningful thing you would have gotten it of? Uh, that's just I can't even think of one. See, like you can't nothing. think of one meaningful thing. So maybe if you had gotten one when you're 22, you'd be like, "Oh, uh, that was sick when that stripper took a shit on me." <laughs> <laughs> now that would if that, that did that, happen, I might have gotten and, a tattoo. And then you'd been like, "That was meaningful," or you'd be like, yeah. "Because now I, you can't look, you can't look back on a single milestone." Well, not on me. I have uh, photographs. Did you, did you have yeah, any? Yeah, that's what I said. I got a, I got a album. Friend? I have these crazy <laughs> things. Uh, yeah. I got yeah. yeah. No, like I said, like, the fact that I have no tattoos makes me feel like I've never had any meaningful in my life. I feel like I'm boring. Okay. Life's great. I have a great question for Chrissy and Anthony. Can I ask a question? Please. Yeah. So, say you guys are forced in the next two minutes and you have to get three tattoos. Wow. Are they? And you have, you have, I'll put a timer okay. on the clock. You have, All right. you, okay. have one, you have, you uh, have, ready? I don't know where I my have, phone is. Someone I, have a phone? I do. Oh, I have a phone is right here. Okay, I already know. All right, okay. so it's going to be three things and you have to say three. where they are. All right, go. you have 30 seconds. Okay. Go. Number one would have been a tattoo I was going to get as like a teen in my 20s. I was really into springboard diving. I almost got the USA diving symbol on my ankle. Okay. Um, it, one. Like, so I'll do that. Uh, number two would be something for my mom that I was thinking of doing over the last couple of years. I would get like a hibiscus. 
like a yellow hibiscus because she was hibiscus. Um, or it was something with her handwriting or some bullshit, but like a hibiscus, like yellow for her. And you have four seconds. Oh, like an ohm back here because it was briefly like a, okay, you and you're cut off. A yoga chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony, now you. Oh my God! Let's see. Yeah, you got thirty seconds. Three tattoos. The, go. The Half Life uh, video game logo from nineteen ninety eight. Oh shit! I liked that. That was a good game. Um, that was a dope is that on your shoulder? The, 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 the Compound Media logo. Woo! Right. That, Where? That seems you to can't be. Can't just hold the shit. You gotta say uh, where they uh, are. Okay, those would be on either arm, like okay. like fucking that. Yeah, and then um. Yeah, and then I, I guess uh, on my shoulder, I, I'd get uh, like this microphone to denote that I speak into a microphone. Do you know that every comedian who's ever gotten a microphone has quit comedy? Every <laughs> single one. It, it, and that's why I don't get tats either. They're the most fucking played like tattoos. Everything yeah. is Well, is do you played. think my ha-ha tattoo is played? I got that. No. That's, you have, that's, it, that's in my personal handwriting in rehab. You oh, have tasks that don't look like they were professionally done with a gun either. <laughs> Definitely a pin and a big fucking pen. It's called a prison tag. Oh, okay. And my boy would relate to it for only one who gets their fucking prison for getting fingered. <laughs> wow. Chloe, all your tattoos look like you maybe did them yourself. <laughs> all right, I'll stop the clock. Uh, All right, never have I ever doubted my sexuality. <laughs> oh, look, at, look, everyone's trying to hold a straight face. Yeah, I've never doubted it. <laughs> I think it's harder to be a man who doubts their sexuality than a woman, because I feel like it's less accepted. Right. Say that again? Yeah, well, I feel like it's harder to be a man who doubts their sexuality than a woman. Woman, it's like, yay, you're bisexual. You're no, 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 not you're anymore. Like but when you're a man who's no. like, oh, now you're gay, mm -hmm. you're gay now. No? Well, I think there's a lot of these girls right now in comedy who are faking lesbians just yes. for, like, for, like, the fucking numbers. Comedy and says you're like, fair. these dudes are like, I'm gay, and everyone's like, shut up. Faggot. I mean, you're not a faggot. You know what I mean? Like, shut up. I think the new thing with girls is like the bisexuality thing. Like, if that's like very trendy. Yeah. And the funny thing is, it's all these like rich white chicks, like privileged white chicks who are like, I'm actually bisexual because they need something else about them. But the thing is, is you like, I, I like okay, hate follow Alex, this girl. I have to tell you, I did have a gay dream once when I was 12. I mean, who who hasn't? But I'm also not making pride Anthony about me. Anthony funded it. Yeah. <laughs> funded by Anthony? Yes. Oh, Anthony, Anthony, that wasn't. Lemonade Anthony's lemonade. <laughs> For free, you get a tattoo on the back of your neck of a microphone. <laughs> Got to look into that. <laughs> no, but I, I agree. I would agree with Chloe. I think it's like a very trendy thing now to be like, oh, this is also this also affects me because yeah, so I'm a bisexual right. woman. I, like, I tried oh, yeah. to be gay. I did try to be gay. I did have a gay dream once, but it really didn't translate into much except for like, let's go shopping. And um, so I, I did try to be gay. I went on gay bumble. I was uh, gay bumble. <laughs> I got kicked off. But I actually got kicked off. I got kicked off bumble. And some gumble? Yeah, it's gumble. <laughs> what did you get kicked off bumble for? I called someone a faggot. But anyways, I got, I was speech. fucking hate. But were you right? right? Uh, I don't know. But I went I went on bumble as a woman looking for women and I just ran into like three of my good friends who are lesbians and I just messaged them right away like, hey, what are you doing tonight? You want to hang out? And they're just like, get it off of here, Chloe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Take here to date. Like, get the fuck off. I'm like, oh, I'm here, to I'm, to the like, I'm here to meet people too. And they're like, no, you're not. You're just a fucking asshole. Yeah. Like, oh, all right. I was like, I'll text you. And they're like, whatever. They're like, you're here to get material. We need you, Chloe. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what are you doing tonight? And my best friend was like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's funny as hell, man. You're discriminating your sexuality. Yeah. I did get kicked off Bumble. I think my like doubting, was on doubting. Bumble BFF. <laughs> Bumble BFF. And like, is that like just like a, a, a trap? No, my ex-girlfriend. You're friend. the most underrated person on this entire show. If you could just run your hour. <laughs> yeah, right now. Right now. 
No, but my ex-girlfriend was on Bumble minutes. BFF. Do five, minutes. I was, Can you just do five minutes? Do five minutes. Do <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> My ex was you on Bumble minutes. BFF and I was just like, is this, is, this is, this is my material. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and I was just like, uh, I feel like this is just like lesbian girls trying to trap you in and steal you from me. From you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I was a catch. So, oh, so you, oh my God, this is so hot. I didn't know you booked a fucking sociopath. <laughs> 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 oh, where are you taking us to your basement, Larry? <laughs> Larry. Are we going to a race den? Yeah. Oh shit. We're going to a race <laughs> den? It's a bunch of other like, colors? That's where I make the drinks. That's where I make the drinks. <laughs> Why is it dark there? Yo, I, I, I want to take see, a like you just have like uh, Tony for for your like liquor combination for your like childhood, like whatever roofie and kids it's like this whole <laughs> elaborate science fair project with all these tubes but one is just vodka and the other is just lemonade but it's all right like and it all in order to, con to confuse people right? yeah. Yeah. Those ratios. all these different tubes and you're in the science with different right. colors <laughs> where, where are you going are you taking us on an errand right now no what i did was took out my recyclables <laughs> <laughs> Okay, never have I ever gotten stitches. Oh, I got stitches. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Snitches, they be getting stitches. At first I thought yeah. snitches, but snitches. <laughs> yeah. I would never snitch. I would never snitch, but never. I did get stitches. Who oh, knows what I'm talking about? Yeah. How many kids broke their arm on that playground? <laughs> that playground. That playground. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh yeah, what'd you do, Chrissy? I was fighting with my brother. Um, I was really, I was eight at the time, and I like, I had a really contemptuous is that is that a word relationship with my brother. Like he would like Bart Simpson choke me like three times a week. And Jesus. That's. Uh, I just, and I was like, and I would always fight with him and nobody would believe me. They'd be like, Eric, you're a Boy Scout. You're the best. Chris, you fucking suck, you know? And I just hated it so much. And then one time I put my hands in his back jean pocket and I was like, yeah! And I was like, and then he fell back onto me. My glasses broke into my face. Uh. And my face. And then one of the, the glasses cut my forehead and Ugh. I stitches. And it was plastic surgery, and my mom uh, kept telling me how much money it cost. She's like, oh, this is $800. Just <laughs> guilt you. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I bet you're a bleeder, too, right? Yeah. I mean, just out of my Who good... said that? What? Who the fuck said that? Tony, he wants to know how much the kitties bleed, okay? I was saying she's you a know, bleeder. I, bleed. I bleed when I have to, you know. Chrissy, I'm not gonna let this guy take advantage of you anymore. I, did. I was just assuming she bleeds a lot because she's like yeah. did, you fair did, skin. They tend did, to bleed but a lot. You did instead yeah. of one finger, you did two instead of a shocker, which you're a shocker kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Um, I had to get seven for or the for all the eleven girls, staples in the back of my head. A high five up there. In your head, Alex. I have staples in your head. Oh God, I um, I was really fucked up. And I was on, I, I was definitely like, I was rolling my face off on Molly. I think I was on a lot of Coke. I took like a Xanax and I was drunk as hell. And were we together that night? We were together that night. <laughs> okay, I forget. Are you guys The scared? worst part though, I had, I was on like the, like two of the house shows at Greenwich, did yeah. both of my spots completely fine. That. Game drop. Got off stage. Went outside, was talking to someone at the pair, and like everything fucking hit me. I dropped down, I smacked the back of my head I on the curb. That. They had to call an ambulance. It was this whole thing. I had to get like 11 staples in the back of my head. But the two funny things was like, oh I got God. into the ambulance, and they were like, Ma'am, have you been drinking? And I looked at them and I was like, Obviously. And then they were like, <laughs> They were like, Oh, well, are you on any illegal substances? And I go, Yeah. And they go, well, Which ones? And I was like, Can you just give me a pen and paper? Because like I was just like on all of it. And they oh just looked God. at me and they were like, But I had a head injury. Did they finger you? <laughs> I kept doing <laughs> <laughs> like, That doesn't work. But one, but one time, I, this is actually hilarious. I, I so 
I'm the type, I'm a good friend. I'm a good friend enough that I'll get really, really drunk. I'll get drunker than anybody, but I won't try to hook up with your boyfriend. But I will offer to drive on purpose because I know that you're going to say no because I'm drunker than everybody. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like I, if, if you can't, if, if you're laying down and you're like, I'll drive, no one's going to like make you drive, you know? Yeah. Right. So like, I'm the good guy. And, uh, one time, one of my friends was driving, and we got pulled over, and this was so funny. And the cop pulls us over, and he goes, excuse me, miss, have you been drinking? And she's like, no. And he comes back to the car, and he goes, have you been taking any drugs? And she starts hysterically crying, and she goes, what do you consider drugs? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And he was like... Why? She's like, I'm on Xanax and a little bit of acid, but it's not cocaine, okay? <laughs> Are we cool? <laughs> Are we cool? <laughs> like, Were no. you cool? I was like, what? She's like, what do you consider drugs? <laughs> I was just like, oh, I was like, I should have driven because I would have just been like, you'd been like, what do you, you'd be like, you're on drugs. I'd be like, Pat's like, well, not good, we're good, we're good, man, <laughs> you know? I really love Larry. I'm just on ponies, drink, man. I've just been drinking ponies. <laughs> I've been at the playground freaking ponies. <laughs> I got up from. I know we lost. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, never have I ever shoplifted. Uh, have you? Have you? Yes, have. I have. Yeah. Yes, yeah, well, as a teen growing up, I didn't get an allowance. I'd go to the mall to steal in Long Island, and I would steal Claire's accessories, earrings. Hell yeah. You know, shit that I would have bought if I had an allowance. Um, yeah. To me, I was just sort of like making the leap between, you know, I picked up where my parents left off. I'd go into Abercrombie and Fitch, I'd yeah. tank top down my shirt, and. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I never went through that phase. And I feel like it's every teenage girl, like every like in the end of middle school, beginning of high school girl goes through like a shoplifting yeah. phase. I, and like, I remember having girlfriends that were stealing like, do you remember those like the lip smackers, lip glosses, but they were kind yeah. of like the fancier like ones? A lot of them in a package. Or no, the ones that like were like cake frosting -y or the ones that came in like the yeah. tube that you would, and it was like the thing, like everybody like stole one from CVS. And I remember girls <laughs> in middle school being like, I, and I, I, some, I never went through that phase. You got, you got wow. Do it now. Just say no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, we lost somebody. Oh, I heard Delia's is coming back. Well, yeah. thank God. I needed some platform PVC sandals and um, overalls. So Chloe perfect. left. Chloe one left. Yeah. Oh shit. I think there was an issue. I think she had an issue in her house. I heard a dog she barking. Go. God damn it. I, I heard. I heard an itch. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, mostly kid stuff. Like when I was a kid, I would go into the uh, stationery store around the corner from Grandma's house there, and uh, and uh, baseball cards, uh, magazines, uh, like the impulse buy toys that are by the shelf of Yo Yo, things like that. Right. But um, once I you got old enough to want to shoplift anything that was more, again. The fear of, you know, my parents were constantly going, if you get arrested for anything, we're not getting you. We're just not getting you. Right. Wow. And, and that always petrified me. So I didn't really. Uh, were you a bad anything. boy? What, what's that? Were you a bad boy, Anthony? Or no, I was a really good boy. My brother was more of a bad boy. I was pretty much the straight and narrow till I smoked my first joint and then everything went down the shitter. <laughs> I was so I good in school, funny. everything. Well, how the <laughs> funny thing is, Wait, it was like pony. This, what happened yeah. after you smoked weed? Did it go I smoked weed and I had zero ambition to do anything but smoke weed. That's all I wanted to do. Really? And, and before Are that, you sober I was now? into science. Fuck no. <laughs> Yeah. So, I just so figured what, out. What, why are you just in fucking infomercial for nerds? What are you doing right now, dude? Just, I just have no ambition, but I figured out a way to make a living not having any ambition. Yeah. And yeah. you did it from weed. So you do you think that uh, marijuana was a gateway drug? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I think for me personally, yeah. smoking yeah. weed took away my, it didn't make me go on to other drugs. Although during, you know, certain points in time. So you're uh, not on amphetamine. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I don't do any drugs yeah. now. I just None? drink. I have like. Uh, what do you drink? Ma Maker's Mark and Coke. 
Let's prove it. <laughs> Let's no prove shit. It. Let's prove it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Chloe would be a great <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> yeah. No, I, so I, I never did, uh, went on past weed, but weed was enough. Like, that's all I wanted to do was get high for years. You never so went past weed? You never weed? did any other drugs besides weed? I, uh, well, you had to have done acid. During the 80s, I did a little coke because it was the law. You had that's to. That's it? Yeah. It was the 80s. And how much okay. did you do? Did you love it? It was fun at first, but then it, I was kind of like, uh... What do you mean um, fun at first if you only did it a few times? Someone who says fun times. at first, like, lost their family. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Ah. Nothing like that. If you're nothing like, it like was that. fun at first until I lost my kids. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, I thought you meant, like, losing your family would be fun at first. Like, it was so fun. <laughs> I had no holidays. It was now great. I have nobody to talk to or anything. <laughs> I no, lost was, them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was good. Like, even at first, like, at the beginning of the night, when you do your first lines or something, it was kind of good. And then the whole night is just dedicated to finding more Coke and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, well yeah. Tony, Tony, you know what they say? What'd what they say? Me? Of course. Y you can't find Coke unless you're on Coke. And uh, <laughs> that is true. same thing and like, you, know, you, you don't know, know funny <laughs> unless, unless you are funny. You don't know right. spice lemonade unless your grandfather is already giving it to you and raping you in the butt. Do you know what they also, what they never say about Coke? What? Where, what? Where's, the, where's the rest of that Coke from last night? Exactly. Never. Yeah. Never. <laughs> you'll never, you'll ever. never hear that. <laughs> never. Ever. Hear that. <laughs> but you, you've, you've, never, like, so you've never lived that, right? What? Have you ever lived that life? No, no. It was very casual. No, you know? because nobody says that. You never say, where's the Coke from last night? You say, Because there's never any Coke there's from last night. never any Coke from last night. No, no one not, saves no, Coke for the next you day. You're not no. listening because you buy Coke yeah. that next night. You buy Wait, Coke at like well, eight right. the whole point. Of course. Right. That's what I'm saying. So at eight in the morning, you wake up and you're like, oh, you don't have to worry. Do you know what I'm you saying? Won't. You don't. But understand. it doesn't matter if you bought a the quarter pound. You still need more out. Coke the next it's day. It's not nine oh two one zero. If you're doing drugs, you're doing drugs. It's not a fucking talk show, Kumia. <laughs> I think it is. Listen, it is. This is how you do <laughs> it's, I think it's exactly don't, a talk don't. show. You're saying expressions <laughs> like you've done cocaine. Like you know what they say. Where's the cocaine from last night? Do not say that again because you don't know. Because there is always <laughs> cocaine. When you are on firecracker. cocaine. Yes. To me. If you're on cocaine, you do not run out of cocaine. If I am on cocaine, right. I buy more cocaine. I fall asleep. I say, Where's the cocaine from last night? I go, Oh, wait, must be somewhere. I look in a closet in a drawer. Do more cocaine? Okay, yeah, no, there might be more coke. There's coke never any more. No, there's next never day. coke from last never. night. Never. Oh, there is. If you know how to do cocaine, there's always coke from last night. No, yeah, if you I know do how it. to do no. it, there's. You're not doing it right. Have it you ever done always... cocaine, Kumia? Of course. You said you're not once. No, I didn't say once. I said not a lot. <laughs> Very <laughs> casually <laughs> during the 80s. Uh, probably, the 80s? probably for a total of uh, like a year. Uh, every so often, like every weekend or so. Yeah, yeah, I Maybe can that, that kind of thing. If someone had some, I can't even tell you. I think I might have paid for cocaine you know that twice I, in my whole well, life. Well, do you know that I sold cocaine, oh. Anthony? No. Really? No. Of course I did. Of course I did. And do you know that I was doing cocaine? I would do cocaine before I went to this, like, uh, boarding school, and I would do cocaine at 7 in the morning before class every day. Wow, like an alarm clock. Damn it, every to do it. Damn it, every girl I dated. What are you <laughs> drinking, Chloe? <laughs> Whatever you made me. You told me <laughs> to drink this. <laughs> you told me to drink this. You told me. It you looks like a screwdriver. <laughs> You'd like that. Chloe, are you like off away because of this show? No, no, no. no. I'm super busy. Okay. No. <laughs> super busy. Super, super busy. What's that, Christopher? He's a... Uh, I, I can't hear. I can't hear his... Uh, what audio. happened to Christopher? Wait, can we talk to James Crawley? Let's Did talk you hear about me? Could you... James. Oh, James, now I hear you. Last time you, you got laid. Christopher, Laugh. you can hear me? Yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah. Are you kidding me, Larry? Larry is a bump. <laughs> Yo, so, Larry, so I'm asking. I'm... <laughs> hey, Yo, I'm asking. Has any, everybody Larry, on I saw that. I saw you. You should have. Done what? <laughs> Larry was doing a bump. 
<laughs> was I the only one who saw? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you keep showing our, us your ceiling. Oh. It's beautiful. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think it's my phone carrier. Oh, oh yo, Tony, send me your number. <laughs> yo, 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 Tony. Yo, Tony. Yo, Tony. She's like, yo, Tony. Yeah. She's like, yo, send me a number. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, let's hear one from James Crowley. Oh, sorry. Oh. I, I totally hijacked everything. Like it's that. fine. That's all right. All right, Crowley, uh, you're up. Uh, never have I ever. Oh, fuck. Never have I ever gone skydiving. Oh, my no, God. This I is my favorite guy on the show. This is my favorite character on the show. <laughs> Crowley, can you say it again? He's a human being. He's my Never favorite. Turn. I have. Can you do a better question? <sighs> Anybody else? Say something like fucking nuts. What's like the craziest thing you can think of? James. Never have. <laughs> Never I love have I she's ever critiquing his never have something. I ever. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I've, done, I've done a lot Shut of up. shit. <laughs> Say something nuts. James, you never. Shut up. Larry, do more coke. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> James, <laughs> say something crazy. <laughs> never. James, did you pee on someone? Yeah. Yes or no? What? Did you pee on someone? Is that why you said no, that? No, I've never, I've never peed on someone. That's. Would you like to? I I would. Oh, I've peed on someone. <laughs> I've never peed on anyone. I've never peed I can on remember. Anyone. Is this in like a sexual way or just like either? Either by accident or for fun. <laughs> cool me up. <laughs> Have you peed My friend on I can, de I can definitely say I've never peed on anybody. Like. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> not even, not even in the shower or anything. I, I did. Yeah. Accident. How it, accident. How, did it, how? How, Chloe? Okay, so what happened was I was in, uh, I was in New Orleans, <laughs> New Orleans, Mardi Gras, because I'm a oh. boss, and I was at uh, Mardi Gras, like, like 24 or something like that, and like, there's like a couple rules of Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Like, the only way you don't get arrested is do not. Uh, do not touch a horse and do not pee in public. There's like okay. the two ways you don't get arrested. So I met Piano Bar. Anyone here been to like Mardi Gras? Nola? Right? Yes. So I'm at like Piano Bar, right? That's one of the big bars. And like I try to like go to the side. I'm like 24 in college. Oh, no. And I'm like, I'm trying to like pee in a corner because there's like an hour long line. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> and, then, and then I look behind me and I peed on someone's foot who's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, but what? it's not like they needed it. No. <laughs> Using it, like yeah. whatever. Fucking hey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so I peed on someone. Can you imagine a road trip in New Orleans with Alex and Chloe? Oh my god. Oh my crazy. god, that'd be fun. You're, you're so getting in Chris, trouble. See, you like, look so pretty. So fucking oh, getting in trouble. Yeah. Oh no, Tony, I don't get in trouble. I don't know. It seems like you, you already told a few stories where you did. Yeah, yeah that's yes, honestly, I, mean, I, I never have get in trouble when I get oh, bored. Okay. I let it happen. I let trouble happen. Mm. Oh, see, I okay. never have consequences. Like I'm the one. I've done a lot of shady Chris, shit. And like, where? What is Christopher thinking? He's thinking. I'm listening. I'll be trying to get it. He's. I try to get a word in with you. What is he thinking? Get in the game. Christopher's like, I get into some trouble. <laughs> Christopher is a troublemaker. What is Christopher thinking? He's like Sorry, whipping the mic around. He's like, I get into some trouble. Because you and I both been arrested three times. You're like, and my stories are way better than this stupid white little <laughs> bitch. She never even drank. Tony <laughs> Lemonade. Because he also <laughs> in the fucking fuck. No. He didn't think you're as hot as he thought I was. This is what drugs is. I love it. <laughs> You're the one on them. <laughs> Yo, never you 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 asking me for the never everything? Yeah. Or, well, you haven't done one. You should do one real quick before we peace out. Oh uh, well, shit. Never, never have I ever done any drug besides weed. If weed is a drug. 
Ow. That's whack. Mm. Damn. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're saying you've <laughs> never done any other drug other than weed? Then you have. Um, Come on, Christopher. I'm serious, yo. Uh, Bussy. I know. You need to get a tattoo, you need to do some drugs. You've never done mushrooms? <laughs> nah, hell, I, I, I'm afraid of that. Why? You Don't be afraid. Nasty. It's just natural. I love it, yeah. Never done I acid. Like, I, I tripped out. I ate some edibles and tripped out. So I'm like, Dude, and I didn't edible, like that shit. No, so. edibles are the worst. Yeah. Yo, that shit. Dude, one Yo, time, I tripped, one time. Tripped out. Yeah, one time I took edibles when I was leaving Amsterdam. And I ate this like space cake before I went through security. Then we went through security. <laughs> and it was the worst day of my life because I sat next to this. I sat next to this like Muslim couple with like the sheath on, the sh whatever it's on, <laughs> whatever it's on. <laughs> and, and they they came over and they gave like the papers around to like say like who are you with, who are you with, and they gave it to them and they said like oh one family. I'm like yeah, I'm with them because I was so high and I was like I'm with them and they're like we don't know her. I'm like I'm with them. <laughs> we don't know her. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably write all this into a joke one day, but yeah, you really should. Yeah, that happened and it was really sad. So then I started hysterically crying and I got escorted to the back of the plane into my own seat where they just let me drink Heineken and hysterically cry into my own paper to try to figure out where I was from. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I was from the USA. <laughs> but I was so high, I came from Amsterdam. And I ate a full space cake I sat next to this Muslim couple. And I was like, Here we go again. Here we go. <laughs> like, <they're my> <laughs> Let me see how this ends. The, the thing about those space cakes. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. You ever take a space cake and then your flight gets delayed? Well, you reckon give you a flight? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? I said we're gonna go around where people can find us and clubs and stuff. No, I said, I said, do you finger me? <laughs> do you finger me? <laughs> Who is he? Who are you, are you doing my vagina? Are you saying my vagina is that big, Chrissy? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> so I went to this boarding school, though. Can I tell you something really fucked up? At this point, can I say something really fucked up before this call ends? It's fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I went to this. I went to this boarding school, oh and there were these Canadian <laughs> hockey players that were really big assholes. And there'd be like a line when the girls would walk into the dining hall, and the boy, the Canadian hockey players, would stand up and they go. That's it? Based on their vagina size. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. How so why didn't you just turn the table and be like... No, the hockey players yeah. used to do that, and they got, but they would stand up from different tables over there and they'd be like... Wow. <laughs> Massive room. Chloe, Chloe is killing. She's killing the Zoom. Completely. I, I'm not. Sorry. Chris, yo, you gonna plug anything or say that again? <laughs> Do I plug anything before we go? Do I want to plug anything in? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh God. Shit, everything is shut the fuck down. Well, I, I, I shout out my um my YouTube. I got a YouTube channel. I go buy C snacks where I eat fucking snacks in the nice. front seat of my car. That sounds good. I would I would hit that up if I didn't have an eating disorder. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Holy shit! I love her. Larry. Yeah. Let's love. get loud. Let's get loud. Uh, and then just shit, follow me. Just walk alongside me. Don't follow yes, me. Yes, likewise. That's Only if you're going to give us that cocaine, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Angelbert, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, follow me.
me on Twitter, Alex Engelbert. I will be fighting with youths. Um, I'm in a web series that will be out in August called Call Center. So follow me on Twitter for that. And I have a podcast that will be premiering in July. It's called End the, End the Suffrage. And it's an anti-women's right podcast. I love it. I'm going to listen. I love it. Hey, where can we find you, Kumia? Yeah. My <laughs> God. <laughs> Compoundmedia.com. Me and Dave uh, Landau doing our, our show from... Uh, of course, uh, through, what is it, four, four to six, Monday through Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crowley, what about you? Uh, my podcast, James Crowley's Infinite Playlist, people talking about music. Uh, and uh, follow me on Instagram at James P. Crowley. All right, Crowley, yeah. I'm giving you another chance to plug. Okay, um, you can follow me at James P. Crowley. Um. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'm fucking Holy cool. shit. <laughs> you can follow me under Tony's bed. Uh, Tony died. <laughs> Fully hydrated. Oh, my God. I'm on cocaine. Okay. All right. Okay. No. What is that last bag? What is that bag of Coke from last night? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking callback. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 if you don't give any numbers, she's under your bed. Under your bed, she's gonna be under your bed. Either way, she needs to sell her fucking cookies. Her Girl <laughs> Scout cookies. Hey Larry, what's your what's your gram, yo? My Instagram? Yeah. My, my, it's cool. at Chloe LaBranch. Yeah, I got I wrote I got you down. Y'all saying Larry. Which oh. is French? French. My, oh. my gram my gram is he is hysterical. It's Wait. Oh, he is hysterical. He, yeah, he is hysterical. Why don't you fix that, dude? Yeah, he's making Larry Bea. Yeah, Wait, well. Tony, what is yours? You're uh, Anthony Cumia. Are we yeah. Here? Your name should be your account. Your name is yeah. your Instagram. There's a lot of cat a lot of cat pictures on there. Yeah. <laughs> It keeps me out of trouble. My my Twitter is the one that has the most uh, controversial stuff, but my Instagram is all Tony, like you can see. Tony one of my cats are right there. There's one. Tony. He's walking around. Yeah. yeah, one of your cats has really interesting like leopard spots. Yeah, he yeah. looks like a little leopard. There he's he is. Banner, right? Walking and around. Uh, Bengal. 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 Okay. Who's What's that? Hey. Hey, Eve. hey Anthony. What's what? Has, like, Anyone who names like a cat a specific brand also like names a Ruthie a specific brand. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I so, like, don't. Oh no no no! no. Not, it was a Bengal cat, but it was just it's kind a Bengal. Of like, it's a breed. Uh, it's a breed. I had to buy them so, so you know what four I mean? cats like, at the shelter could be killed. Hey, exactly. Hey, which, <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, which one? Which one jumped up Anthony, on the table? Anthony, what is your what is your interest? Oh, that was Be Beavis. Yeah, Beavis. Yeah. yeah. Anthony. I uh, yeah. Cumio. Oh, of... Anthony Cumio. Cumio. Oh, you have fifty thousand followers. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big deal. A lot of, cat pictures. of course, the first photo you have is of a child. No, that was. Uh, yeah, oh, yep, yep. That was the Your murder first hornet. Photo is a child. That's Danny from The Shining with yes, a murder no, I hornet. Know it's a child. I knew you were a pedophile from. He's day got a one. murder hornet on his nose, and oh, it's, remember it says red said, rum, oh, oh, red oh, rum oh, hornet. Oh, you know. Oh, Oh. Yeah. Backwards. It was a little Remember joke. Remember how I said I that you went sell me lemonade? It's just a blank phone now. <laughs> oh, yo, Chloe, fuck. yo, Chloe, your 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 voice it sound like a like a cartoon or just your voice is just sound mad familiar from something like a, Yeah, yeah, it does it? Did you do radio ever, Anthony? Have you thought uh, about it? Yeah, a couple of times. Oh, okay. Yeah. She should have been on South Park. I've been in the business. Yeah, Chloe's yeah, voice man, definitely. She has a voice that she should be definitely should be able to do her voice. Like, shut it. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. 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 Hey, Kyle. That's it. I have a really good. I have a really good phone voice. What is it? Is it from South Park? Yeah. I don't know. Whose voice, Cartman? 
Cartman. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. You just sound like somebody from a, yeah, game, you do. From a cartoon. Right. So, do you want to know who I look like? So, one time I was at like a, a fan, I was at not a family dinner. I was visiting uh, my boyfriend of the time's parents for the first time, and I turned around and the waitress screamed. And she goes, ah! Sorry, you just look like the older sister from Poltergeist. Oh, God. Uh, Google her, Dominique Dunn. Dominique Dunn, yeah. yeah Dominique Dunn. I can, Dunn. See, I can Google see her a little bit. I you seem scary to me, but I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, I can She's see dead it. now, and so is yeah. the little girl from Poltergeist. That's why she screams. Yeah, Yo, you why know what, Chloe? You sound, you sound like a young, like a young Drew Barrymore, like. Or some shit uh, like from doesn't Drew Barrymore like have a speech she, she, <laughs> she, drinks, she drinks like a young Drew Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Wow, well, that's good. That's, you, that's not funny, Kumio, because you don't actually. That is fucking me. funny, man. No, because you don't you actually know me drink. as a person. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> It was all based on sound, like you sound like, yeah. and then you oh. drink like a young yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, look at, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Creepy. Clearly. She comes Creepy. back to the house, gets out of the car, and she's like, what's going on? And this one. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, God. I'm a, I'm gonna slide off, man. <laughs> follow me on um, follow me on Instagram. It's comedian Chris Clark. All right, bye, yes. Chris. Is that good? Is that good or oh, what? God. We're gonna end this Zoom. Love you guys. Follow everybody on here. This was right. yeah. Chloe. Stay loud. Get home awesome. safe, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, get home safe, Chloe. <laughs> She's just gonna pull up the pictures and model it. <laughs> get that home safe, true. Anthony. Boy, that that really is fucking close. Wow, that looks like a sweatier version of you. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, get home safe. Yeah, yeah I'll give it a whirl. I got to talk to you about the formula. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. Yeah, everyone get home safe. Yeah. Love you, Chris. Yeah. All right, everyone. Great all job. Right. Take it all easy. Right, Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>